Good evening and welcome to the East Long Meadow Spartans varsity field hockey game. Today we have the East Long Meadow Spartans taking on the Falcons of Minichog. I'm Gage of Delmacy and today you will only be hearing my voice as we are absent on commentators. Good game between both teams, uh, good, r decent records between both teams as well. It's going to be an interesting game to see for sure as there was a prior um, senior ceremony for both teams but the main one for East Long Meadow will be prior to the game after all of Minichog leaves. Waiting for a start. Okay. Oh, there you go. to start for the half. And we're underway. Minichog with a nice pass back. Trying to evade two defenders of East Long Meadow. Pass up to number 22. Can't keep it inbounds. East Long Meadow will gain possession. Rob, pass over to Sterling. Sterling with a nice chip shot down to the 20, slowly rolling. Stays inbounds. Chog will pick it up. Pass forward about 15 yards. Move around one defender. 33. Chip shot blocked. East Longmeadow will gain possession. Pick Q. Pass over to Ron Karate. Then turned over. Illegal. Illegal touch to the East Long Meadow game possession at about the 44 yard line. Sterling with the pass in. Over to PQ. Then over to Rob, but turned over. East Long Meadow gains possession. Ron Karate. Poss possession back over to Chog. Chog with the attempt at a chip shot. Lost possession, trying to regain. Whistle. Intercepted by Macarini. Pass deflected. Oh, return to East Long Meadow. Macarini with the attempt on the breakaway. Goaltender gets to it. Whistle. Chog still looks to have retained possession. So a nice early attempt for East Long Meadow, two minutes in. We'll see if that momentum sh uh, shifts over to Chog's side or if it'll stay on East Long Meadow. Sterling, able to track down the ball. 43, dancing around one defender. Turned over. Chog at the 35. Multiple open, open attack. And Macarena was able to have the whistle blow, so East Long Meadow will be able to gain the pos possession in Minichog territory. Sterling, pass forward, over to Ron Karate. Pass, blocked, she, can, she keeps possession. Pass over to Piquio, blocked. Chog will go over to the left corner, pass it forward. Whistle blows. <laughs> Looks as if, yep, uh, East Long Meadow will gain possession. Sterling. Turns the ball over. Chog, trying to get out of their, out of their zone and start the offensive attack. Multiple open players for Chog and they move slowly up the field. One defender back for East Long Meadow. Chog able to outspeed the defenseman. Whistle. No whistle. Pass forward for to Weiss. Weiss over to Rob. Rob. 
keeping possession, two on one, pass the other defenseman, shot, slowly rolls. Chog defenseman will be able to stop it, and it looks like Chog will gain possession. Quick pass right up, up front. Holding, now slowly moving forward. Pass up for number 20. Blocked by multiple East Longmeadow defenders. Chalk was able to gain possession back. Stopped by, I believe, Nevins. Nevins passes it forward. On her left is Weiss. She is able to pass it off to Weiss. Weiss passes it forward for Rob. Rob. And number 42 for Chog tie up. They give it to Chog. Chog instantly plays the ball. Loss of possession. Weiss moving up. Draws a whistle. East Longmeadow gains possession. Or sorry, retains possession. So far, a lot of offensive threats for East Longmeadow. We'll see if they're able to continue this as we have about 9.35 remaining. Chog able to gain possession. Two on two. Able to run past one. Looked like a trip with the stick. She seems to be okay. Goggles flew off. So Chog will retain possession after almost a scary uh, trip or collision. But pass off right away. Pass back to the 30. Shot forward. Whistle. East Longmeadow gains possession. So, so far, a bit of back and forth, but East Longmeadow had most of the momentum for the first half of this quarter. Pass forward for Dowd. Dowd ties up. Second Chog defender comes in to take possession. Chip shot forward. To Keep possession. Sterling Sterling gets the ball and slowly moves forward. Pass for Weiss a little too far ahead. Chug heaps possession and goes and starts moving into the East Longmeadow attacking zone. Pass just a little too far forward. Chug was unable to hit it to keep it in bounds. Ball should go to East Longmeadow. And it will. Pass forward for Rob. Rob not going to be able to get there in time. Chog gains possession. Quick pass forward. With Dowd on her, she's able to break free, and Chog will continue to go into the East Longmeadow territory. Pass forward up to the, about the 30. Gaining wide open zone for two Chog players. Pass too far to the right. Going to go out of bounds, and East Longmeadow will gain possession. Subs come in, multiple for East Longmeadow. And a quick play-in right when they get it to the line. Pass, unable to be blocked, and it'll be out of bounds. Chog's possession. Chog with the quick pass in. Down the right side. Pass down in the middle, blocked. Pass forward. Molly Holler trying to gain possession back. Keeping up with number 18 for Chog. Quick turnaround. And the pass. A little bit of a bunt, but she was still able to get it off, and Chog will can keep possession. Two defenders on. Continuing the two defensive, pr defensive pressure. East Longmeadow player down, either hit by her own stick well, as it flew out of her hands. Maybe she was ch chopped with the stick, or the ball hit her in the shins or somewhere. And we are back. She looked to be okay. They're checking up on her right now. Sub came in. Whistle. So right now about 6.17 and running. 
So far, 0-0. Zero, zero. Shots have been somewhat even for both teams. Isang went with most of the pressure for the first half of this quarter. Chaga is now taking over and trying to keep this momentum going into the, possibly the second quarter or score as soon as they can. Shots wide, goes out of bounds. Isang Meadow will gain possession now, and now they need to try and push forward. Sterling with the pass over to the left sideline. Unable to track it down. Turnover for Chog's possession. Chog able to pass it down the right sideline. Hits off of a Chog stick and goes out of bounds. East Longwood has possession. Sterling from about the 14. Pass chipped up by Piquet. Chog ball and a little bit of some fancy moves by number 16. Miss Mariel, uh, Pastor Mariel, out of bounds. East Long Meadow ball. East Long Meadow ball, whistle blown. East Long Meadow keeps the ball and they'll quickly play it. Chog gets the turnover and now we'll move into offensive or yeah, offensive zone. Turnover again, and another turnover. So Chug keeps the ball after that sequence of three turnovers in a matter of 10 seconds. Another turnover, Isang Meadow gains possession. Isang Meadow trying to keep possession, whistle. And Isang Meadow will keep possession. <laughs> so a lot of back and forth now for this first quarter. Momentum starting to even out. We'll have to see if someone will be able to take this momentum use it for these last four minutes. Turnover. Chog with ball. Chog with the pass up. Hits off the foot. She's able to keep possession. And go. She has one up ahead. She's able to get it through the sticks to number six. Number six with a nice move. Hits the sticks so she's not able to get a complete pass going. And it's turned over to number 25, Ariana Nevins. Nevins with the pass forward. A desperation pass. And she's able to get it off. Passes it to Roncarati. She's going to pass it forward with no one there. So it's a turnover. Minichog ball. Minichog trying to keep possession. Chog will keep possession. Bit of a 50-50 from what I saw, but Ruff has a better angle, better view. So she says Chog ball. Chog tries to pass it forward right in front of the net, unable to. They get a turnover right in front of the net. Shot and unable to track it down. Pass forward by Marissa Boomier. And it looks... He's talking about a will gain possession. As Lily Sterling gets ready for the hit. Hits it forward up to about the 43. Chog gains possession then. And they pass it forward. Inside the 20. Trying to stop the pass. Somewhat able to. As Nevins with a defender on her trying to find a pass. Able to pass it forward but it's intercepted. Chog with the ball. They're running towards the net. Wide open shot. Wide, and it'll go out of bounds. East Long Meadow able to gain possession. Scary attempt right there by Chog, unable to find the net. Goes just barely wide. But East Long Meadow will gain possession and keep the score at 0-0. Zero, zero. Couple substitutions for East Long Meadow. Two minutes and 15 seconds left in the first. Pass forward by Boomier. Intercepted, and then Nevins will hit it out. Wait. Are they saying that it tipped off? They are going to. They're going to say it tipped off of Chog. So East Long Meadow now will have possession. Turned over. Pass forward. Somewhat able to get it through, but then it will roll towards the goal. Nathan will let it slide past. East Long Meadow gains possession. One minute 40 left. Sterling with the hit, far hit, down to about the 44. Macarena able to gain possession. One move around the defenseman. She ships it forward, unable to get it to anybody because it, because no one was ahead. Chaga gets possession now. 
slowly approaching the Eastlong Meadow goal. One minute 15 remaining. Chog with the speed going down the right sideline. Chip towards the middle, on net, saved by Nathan. And it goes out of bounds. It looks as if, and it will, Chog will gain possession. Right now, Chog trying to put on the pressure right now with one minute remaining in the first. We'll see what happens. One substitution made right away. Slowly rolling out of bounds, and it looks as if East Longmeadow will have it because it does not roll out of bounds. Uh, pass blocked. Chog with possession. Still in, the, still in front of the net. Chip from the right side going across. Unable to get it across. East Longmeadow with the possession. Trying to make sure it does not go in. Shot over the net. Lands in the netting on top of the goal. And they'll pop it up. Time is running down. We have about 30 seconds remaining in the first. Chog, you can hear their bench trying to hurry up their offense to try and score a goal with this momentum that they have. Pass intercepted and unable to gain possession. East Long Meadow will able to be able to gain it after that whistle. Pass forward, blocked, and it looks like that was the forearm where she got hit. Stoppage, uh, stoppage in time, 10.9 seconds remaining in the first. She's able to be good, they chip it right in. East Long Meadow gains possession. Trying to not let up an opportunity. Chog passes it forward. Blocked by Song Meadow. Three seconds. Two. One. And that'll do it for the first. 0-0 zero, zero so far. Momentum for both teams. Momentum in the beginning for Song Meadow. Momentum for Chog in the second in the uh, second part of it. And in right at that midway point. But a lot of back and forth, especially down the right in the middle of the field. We'll see what happens in the second corner coming up very shortly. And we're back. Chog able to have possession for the second quarter. East Long Meadow gets it over. Chip by Chog stick will be able to, should be East Long Meadow possession, and it will be. So back and forth for the first quarter. We'll see how both teams play in the second quarter, as right now East Long Meadow has ball in Chog territory. Turnover. And almost a turnover, but it chips over to a Chog defenseman, or a attackman. Running down the right sideline. She's able to get past one defenseman, which is Lily Sterling. Chip from the right, down to the middle. Chipped up, and nice defense by Isong Meadow. Isong Meadow playing back and forth. That was number 22, Olivia Robb. Whistle. And we'll see what it is. Chog possession. Chog will get it from the 25. Pass across. Turned, no, not turned over. Now turned over by to Weiss. Weiss up to Rob, trying to get the pass off to number 15. Uh, Caitlin Dowd turned over, though, and Chaw gains possession. Whistle. There was a nice call there. So Sterling gets it. Sterling with the pass down the, over to the right sideline. She's... Dowd is not able to get over to it before it goes out of bounds. Chog will gain possession, 13-25 remaining in the second. So far, looks like the possession's been mostly for Chog in East Long Meadow territory. East Long Meadow is going to need to pick up and get that attack going. Chog gaining possession, pressure, pressure by Dowd. Dowd continuing to, or sorry, Rob continuing to gain pressure. Pass slowly rolling. Out of bounds. So East Long Meadow with possession now. Once again, due to COVID, it it the clock will remain to run unless injury or goal. Pass backwards to Sterling. Pass back up. Uncoordinated, so it will go out of bounds. Chog will gain possession. And now we'll see how if Chog's able to use this momentum and possibly score a goal. Pass. Turned over. Weiss unable to stop Chog Attackman. Chog slowly pushing up, pass right into the middle. Unable to get on net. Go rolls out of bounds. East Long Meadow possession. And a substitution for East Long Meadow. Coming in was. If I can read that. I believe. was Ron Karate. Oh, sorry. Minichog will, gain will keep possession. So they're at the 25. With possession now. Pass back. 
and then back forward. Slowly trying to get closer and closer to that East Long Meadow net. Pass across, able to keep it. Chipped, trying to get it across, unable to get it. East Long Meadow confusion on who will, who will try and push it forward. But it's Rob trying to pass it forward for Ron Karate. Ron Karate able to, uh, unable to get to it. Chog has possession. Chog, Sterling's able to intercept the pass. She boots it forward over to about the 50. Chog slowly pushing back up. Pass across. Or sorry, down on the right sideline. She's able to fake out the defenseman. Chog into the middle. Blocked by Sterling. Sterling looking to try and find an open East Long Meadow player. Poke by Chog. Able to keep it in before it goes out of bounds. Chog with possession still. Chipped over. Chog able to keep it in again. Chip out by Rob. And you can hear the fans going crazy as they now have a chance. Piquiu almost able to get it through, but Chog's able to block it and slowly push back up again. Sterling's able to chip it back out. Isong, or sorry, Chog able to keep the pressure. Whistle, shot was on net, but the whistle blew before. Isong Meadow will gain possession. So far, a lot of pressure by Min and Chog, and it is showing. But so far, score remains 0-0 as Nathan is trying to get this game to turn around for Isong Meadow. Pass forward, chipped up, but able to keep possession. Ron Karate loses possession. Chog slowly moving up. Sterling able to intercept the pass. She passes it to the to their her right sideline. Unable to get it to an East Long Meadow attackman. And Chog will gain possession on about the 14. A little bit of stick on stick. One East Long Meadow player falls down, which is Boomier. No whistle. Chog gaining possession. Then Macarini able to get it through a defenseman to make sure she keeps, or sorry, a Chog player to make sure she keeps possession. Macarini playing it up by herself. She, st she has two, two East Home players next to her. She passes it, unable to keep it keep it in possession. It's Piquiu and turnover. Chog with the, with the ball. Tried to do a far pass, intercepted. A little bit of a one-on-one. -on -one. East Home keeps possession and an instant play in as they sh pass it forward. I believe it's Piquiu on the right sideline. Sorry, no, that is not. That would actually be Ron Karate. Pass forward for Macarini, intercepted. Piquiu trying to get that possession back. Chog is able to keep it. Sterling able to get it off of the bounce. Macarini trying to rush over there. Chog's able to get there before her, and they pass it forward. Back and forth, 8.55 remaining. Chog now has possession. Chog with the shot. Wide of the net. East Song Meadow will gain possession. So far, momentum has been in Minichog's hand the entire second quarter. East Long Meadow looking to try and get into that Chog offensive uh, Chog territory and Get some shots on net. They were able to in the first quarter, unable to so far in the second. Pass forward. About at the 47 was it, was Chog able to grab it, passing it forward, and now trying to go back again on the offense. They're able to so far wide open. She's running it right down the middle. Shot into the middle. It's a f and that's good. I believe that was number 40 if it was not deflected, which is scored by Joel Kovarik. A nice goal with some Chog players in front of Nathan. And Chog will take the lead 1-0 with 7.58 remaining in the second. And that was all that momentum that Chog was gaining in that second quarter. Able to get that goal, take the 1-0 lead. And right now, Isang Meadow is going to try and going to need to try and get into the Chog's territory and possibly try and take one back before the end of this half. a little bit of confusion on who the goal was, and it was Joel Kovarik, so number 40 for Chog. Passed forward, too far forward, so Chog will gain position again as they have the 1-0 lead. Goal scored by number 40, Joel Kovarik. And you could just hear it through the announcer. So, Chog with the early, with the about somewhat early 1-0 lead, 7.30 remaining in the second. Chip forward, whistle, Isangmano will gain possession. 
Isong Meadow trying to quickly play it in. Sterling is going to play it in. Pass just makes it past the chog stick. And right now they're playing with it, trying to figure out what they're going to do. Pass it back to Sterling at about the 36. Pass back forward. Turned over. Three chog offensemen all next to each other. Chipped forward for 20. 20. Intercepted by, I believe, Hannah Taft. Sorry, it was not Hannah Taft. It was Olivia Robb. Substitution made. Lily Sterling will come off. And Chog will quickly play the ball. Trying to catch the East Long Meadow defense off guard. Able to shift it far forward. Shot on net. Scores. Mm, I believe that was number 20, Zoe George, with the nice shot. Her back to the goal, able to score. And Chog taking another goal really quickly. And 2 0 Chog. East Long Meadow really. Needs to try and get back in this one. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, a little bit of confusion. Shipped forward four. Taylor Weiss unable to get it out of bounds. Chalk ball. Minute chalk goal by number 20, Zoe George. Zoe George with the goal was confirmed. Turned over East Long Meadow possession. Nevins passes it forward. Holler trying to get in front of the Chug defenseman. She's able to, and she's slowly pushing it forward. Two, two East Long Meadow players behind her. She chips it forward past one Chug defender, but able, unable to pass it, chip it past the second. Chug now with possession going into East Long Meadow territory. East Long Meadow getting possession again was Nevins. Shot, either a shot to the right corner of the, or sorry, the left corner of the net, or a pass in the middle. Either way, hits the side of the goal, which is out of bounds. East Long Middle will gain possession at the 15 yard line. Chip shot up. Two up. Well, uh, I think they're calling it a little bit of a carry with the stick. Chug gains possession. 447 remaining, and 447 and counting remaining. Chog with possession at the 15. So this is another opportunity for Chog. Chog with the pass on the right sideline. Chip into the middle. Off an East Long Meadow defenseman. And it goes in. Number 16, Marielle Pastor, able to score the goal. And Chog taking a 3-0 lead. Four minutes and 23 seconds remaining in the second. Looks like East Long Meadow's defense is starting to break down. Sterling with the box. Intercepted. Chalk has possession. Goal by number 16, Mari Pastor. Sterling trying to play it back and forth. Chalk gains possession. Whistle blown. And East Long Meadow will gain possession. Four minutes counting in the second. So far, 3 0 for Chalk. And East Long Meadow now with the offensive pressure. They're really trying to do it. They have a three on one. Unable to get it past the one defenseman. The whistle was then blown. Chog will keep possession, and they slowly make their way back into Yusong Meadow territory. Chog have mul has multiple options. They pass it blocked by Sterling. Sterling able to bring it up to the 40, 45, 50, passes it forward. Turned over. Chog with possession. Whistle. East Long Meadow gains possession. Sterling, pass forward. Turned over. Chog with possession. 
Whistleblown again. Chalk will keep possession. Oh, corrected. It will actually go to East Long Meadow. At first, he, at first the ref had his hand saying it was four minute chalk. They quickly played it, and then he realized he made his mistake. So pass. Forward. To number four, Weiss. Weiss with the shot. Little wide. Trying to use their stick to get it out of the way. Shot. Another save. Shot there was by McHugh. Saved. Chog intercepts it, passes it right back to another East Long Meadow player. They're trying to keep this momentum that they just gained now with 2.40 left in the second. Trying to run back two attackmen for Chog up. It was one defenseman and one trying to come back. Chips it just past the one defenseman. One on one. Tumble. Whistle will blow. No goal. 2.25 and time will stop. Looks like they might throw the penalty on her. It's unclear. I believe I am. I believe that is correct in that. Eastland will now go on the penalty. Little questionable from questionable from my angle. Looked like a bit of a tie up, and with the shot coming in, it made it a little more difficult for them to actually, you know, not fall over with the stick flying near number 25, Ariana Nevin's legs. But she will take the penalty. Two-minute penalty. 2.18 and counting so far. Quick save by Nathan. Leg save. Shot again. Scores. Number 20. Zoe George with her second goal of the game on the power play. 2.10 remaining. 4 nothing jog. And... Goal by 20, Zoe George. Macarini. Macarini. They're saying 3 0. And there is a correction to the goal. It was actually scored by number 30, Grace Caltabiano. So a quick correction. So, so far, Zoe George still has that one goal. Pass forward. Chog intercepts the pass. Two defensemen. Whistle blows. Chog will gain possession. 135 remaining in the second. 4 nothing Chog. So far, East Long Meadows defense has slowed down and been unable to get it out of their zone. Q, playing it back and forth with a East Long Meadow defenseman, or sorry, with a Chog defenseman. Sterling will take the ball in as the whistle was blown, and East Long Meadow will gain possession. Sterling at the 39-yard line, watching, seeing her options. She plays it herself, passes it back for Macarini. Macarini chips it forward for herself. She's able to quickly pass it off in time. Over to Piquet, Piquet. Oh, whistle was blown before Piquet was able to determine what she was determine if she was able to get to it before Chog. East Long Meadow will gain possession. 40 seconds and counting remaining. Ball has not been played in yet. Macarini plays it herself. Pass over to Piquet. Piquet unable to get it. Chog plays it. Chog had it. I believe it tipped off. Yeah, it did tip off a of Piquet's stick, so Chog will be able to gain possession 15 seconds and counting. Sterling able to turn it over. Now this is East Long Meadows' last chance before the half. Holler gets there in time. She takes a shot, blocked, and they'll throw it out, which should end it with three seconds, two and one. That'll do it for the second quarter. Chog coming in on, firing, all, firing on all cylinders. Four nothing for Chog. Four different goal scorers, four nothing. And right now, East Long Meadows is going to need to talk about their defense, figure out what's happening, and figure out what they need to improve, as right now they're looking to come back against Chog. We'll be back after this break for halftime. And we are back for the start of the second half. East Long Meadow will start with the ball for the third and fourth quarter. So far, Chog 
All four goals coming in the second quarter. Goal scorer for one goal scorer for each goal. So Chog will continue with their 2-2-2 two, two, two defense. And East Longmeadow will continue with their 2-1-3. And it goes. Pass forward to Dowd. Dowd turning it over. Gains it right back. Whistle blows. Coach Reed having a little bit of a talk with the ref. Dowd unable to get to it. She's going to have to beat it before it goes out of bounds. And it goes out. Chog with possession at their 21 yard line. Or sorry, 26. Chipped forward. Macarini unable to try and knock it down. Chog with the speed trying to go up. Right sideline. Chog with options. Passing it forward. Unable to get to it. Out of bounds. Easily out of possession. Pass forward by Sterling, chipped up in the air by a Chog player, and Chog keeps possession as, her and Ro as Chog and Chog attackman and robber going back and forth. Sterling able to intercept the pass. Sterling with possession, trying to keep possession on a or sorry able to w due to the whistle. East Long with possession. Sterling with the pass forward, stopped by a Chog defenseman. Passed forward for Chog. Down into the middle. Going to the... Nope. Stopped by Macarini. Macarini trying to keep possession. Unable to. Or able to. As she blocks the strong pass by Chog. Chog able to gain possession again. Chips it back. Pass back forward. Sterling able to stop it. With Sterling's little play, she's able to... Blow the whistle, East Longmeadow possession. So far, a lot of momentum gaining for Chog. We'll see if they're able to keep it, or East Longmeadow will try to retaliate in this 4 nothing deficit. Rob fighting for possession, able to gain it. Pass. Believes it went out without touching Rob's, and that is true. So East Longmeadow gains possession, 12-20 remaining in the third. Hits Dowd's foot, and I believe knee, so it goes to Chog. Chog slowly going into East Longmeadow territory. Pass up, Sterling's gonna race for it. Sterling is able to get there. Quickly turns it over to Chog. Bohmier, fighting with Chog. Player knocked down. The ref on the far outside is going to believe that there was a push off penalty. They believe it's actually on Nathan. And they're trying to just throw Nathan off into the penalty, which would mean that there's an empty net for two straight minutes. With no backup goaltender for East Long Meadow, it will be an empty net and bodies might be on the line for East Long Meadow. Clock is still counting down. Now just stopped. So 10.58 remaining on the clock. So what there, so there might be talks that what they have to do is either play two minutes without the goaltender. They're talking right now.
Elaine will go back in. So Elaine Nathan goes back into net. Confusion. Since there's no backup goaltender, there's a bit of confusion. So they will take off an attackman, which will be Bomier for the penalty. And she goes off for the penalty. So the penalty will remain, but instead of it being on, being with Elaine Nathan out, it'll be Marissa, Marissa Bomier. Shot deflected forward, Elaine Nathan able to kick it out. Chog will keep possession. Chog plays it in. Kicked off the foot, then played by Isong Meadows, so Chog will keep possession. A little bit of questions when it came to that penalty if they were going to take off Elaine Nathan. If they did, it would have been an empty net for the time of that penalty, which I don't believe in any other sport you have that situation. So if there's a penalty in boys or women's hockey, it just comes straight to another player will come out. Looks like a bit of a trip. And some of these Longwood fans asking for the card. I believe she will get called for it. So five on five. With these Longwood waiting to have three subs come in. Chog with possession. Shift into the middle. Shot. Kick save, but whistle is before it. East Long Meadow possession. 9 25 and counting. In left in the third. 4 0 Chog. And East Long Meadow trying to gain momentum for the comeback. Pass forward for Rob. Rob passes it over to Dowd. Trying to give it back to Rob, unable to. Whistle blows. East Long Meadow gains possession. Slow East Long Meadow might look to try and slowly bring up some defensemen as they only have two up right now. Rob trying to get through all. She's unable to get through just one remaining. Chog now slowly bringing it up. Two defenders on her. She passes two on one, but in this case it's two defensemen. Waiting for Chog support. Able to get some, but Macarena able to stop the play. Pass forward for Roncarati. Unable to get it through the defenseman. Chog able to hold possession. Finding, trying to read options, trying to read options. Able to get it through Roncarati. Then Macarini. Macarini chips forward. Roncarati. Roncarati. Over to Macarini. Macarini doesn't get to it, so it's going to be Pacu. Pacu unable to get it through. Chog gets the. Chog is now able to hold possession. Chog gets it through Lily Sterling. Waiting for options. They get an option. She's unable able to play it, and Lily gets there. Lily over to Pacu. Pacu trying to find options. Trying to find options. She chips it forward. Lily Sterling gets it again. Weiss. Weiss. Has an option in front of her. She takes it, and it's Athena Roncarati. Roncarati passes it over to Pacu. Pacu unable to get it as she, it goes in between her legs. Chog gets possession. Down on the far sideline. Pass forward. Lily Sterling with the defense, but it will remain in Chog's possession. Isangmo takes it over. Whistle. Isangmo will hold on to possession even with the whistle. Weiss with it. Passes it back for LaRock. Pass forward, deflected, but continues to get to Ron Karate. Ron Karate passes it over to Weiss. Weiss with open room, passes it forward with the tip over to Ron Karate. With a little bit of a shot Looks like it could have defended off, tipped off a Minichog defenseman. And if it does, it remains East Long Meadow possession. And it looks like it will. 
key notice is right now Islamo still on. Or no, sorry, they are on even strength. Weiss trying to get it through to PQ. PQ able to able to get it due to how close they were, but she's not able to get the shot through. Chog gains possession, slowly moves it up, and then goes out of bounds. So East Longmeadow will have possession, six minutes and counting, remaining in the third. Four nothing, as it has been since the second quarter. East Longmeadow slowly gaining momentum. Temperature slowly dropping here in East Longmeadow, but Chog has possession. Chog with a nice play. Whiff on the shot. Tries it again, able to get it through. Goes out of bounds. And it looks to be East Longmeadow possession. East Longmeadow with the pass forward. Four. PQ. PQ unable to get to it, so Chog will have possession now. Chalk passes it forward, blocked by PQ. Little bit of a limp there. They blow the whistle. PQ able to play it off. Pass by Molly Holler. Over to Weiss. Weiss with room on the right sideline. Rice chips over to Molly Holler. Molly Holler looking for officers. Kick save by the goaltender. Molly Holler down. Weiss trying to get closer to the net. Unable to. Chalk has possession. Macarini slowly moving in, unable to block. Chog now moving up as fast as they can. Molly Holler quickly subbing out due to the injury. Chog, meanwhile, with the shot. The Chog bench thought it went in, but it hits off the side, goes out of bounds. Molly Holler right now being attended to on the East Longmeadow sidelines. Ruff blows the whistle due to a mistake. 3.58 remaining in the third. Pass forward, and on the run is Dowd. Dowd unable to get there before the Chog defenseman. Chog slowly pushing it up now into East Longmeadow territory. Number 17 for Chog. Chog with the pass forward, blocked by Nevins. Nevins now with the possession. Trying to go ahead for Dowd, but there was Chog defenseman there. Chog still on the offense in East Longmeadow territory. Nevins with the block. Whistle blows. Will remain with Minichog. Momentum now slowly starting to shift for Minichog as they try to increase their lead from 4 nothing to possibly 5 nothing. Looks like East Longmeadow will gain possession as under three minutes remain. And they do. Pass from Nevins over to Dowd. Dowd with the chip, or sorry, over to Rob with the chip up to Dowd. Dowd with Rob following behind her. Pass across to Macarini. Macarini gets it, chips it up to Rob. Rob has defenseman six all over. She's able to somehow gain possession, passes it. Oh, she'll hold on to it. Whistle. Whistle to whistle. East Long Middle will gain possession. Or, sorry, contain possession. Pass over to Nevins. Nevins over to Rob. Rob over to Dowd. Dowd with the shot. Up in the air. Chipped in. And they score. East Long Meadow with the quick goal. With 153 remaining in the third. Goal scored by number two, Anna Macarini. And that'll be the first goal for East Longmeadow tonight as they are trying to look for the comeback from 4 nothing, And right now, they got their first and looking for three more, 4-1.
Right now, Molly Holler on the sidelines with, I believe that is a bag Goal of score ice. Goal number two, Anna Macarini. <laughs> Assist by number 15, Caitlin Dowd. As you heard there, goal by number two, Anna Macarini, assisted by number 15, Caitlin Dowd. As I was saying, number 29, Molly Holler for East Long Meadow looks to be on the sidelines with a bag of ice on her, near her eyebrow. Hope she's okay. East Long Meadow looks to keep possession. 120 remaining and counting. They will keep possession. Looking for options, pass it forward and out of bounds. So Chog will take possession with about one minute remaining. One minute remaining in the third. Pass forward, goes through multiple Chog defensemen, and they are able to keep it. Chog looking for options, unable to get options. Nevin's just putting her entire stick down. With then a whistle, 43 seconds remaining. Chog with possession down into the middle. Trying to find a shot. Unable to get shifts. Goes towards the net still. Two Chog defensemen. It go, rolls out of bounds. Unclear who will keep possession. And it looks like it's going to be Chog. Chog with 26 seconds remaining. Chog trying to find an option. Whistle blows again. Time continuing to drain down. Right now, Chog needs to just get this ball in and try and get one last opportunity. 10 seconds remaining. Shot far wide, but high up in the air. Rolls far out, two and one. That'll do it for the third quarter. 4-1 Esong Meadow, no goal scoring for Chog in this third quarter, but Anna Macarini with the first goal for Esong Meadow as they try to make their 4-0 comeback. In the next two minutes, we'll start with the four, We'll see the start of the fourth quarter and possibly the, the continuation of this comeback for East Long Meadow. We'll be back right after these two minutes. And we are back for the start of the fourth quarter. East Long Meadow once again, goal by number two, Anna Macarini, the first of the game for East Long Meadow. East Long Meadow once again will have possession to start the fourth quarter and look to continue this comeback from 4-0. While we wait for the ball to be played, quick reminder that coming up Friday without rain delay will be a, another game for the varsity soccer team at 7, once again being recorded live by LCAP. And with East Longmeadow gaining possession in the defensive zone, I believe that is Nevins, which it which it was was able to play it well. Chog able to chip it out. So East Longmeadow gains possession. Lily Sterling with the shot down, blocked after five yards. A little bit of a trip up. They'll blow it. Chog will gain possession on the twenty. Playing it, pass forward, through multiple East Longmeadow defensemen. They intercept it, whistles blown, clarifying, and East Longmeadow gains possession. Once again, like I was saying earlier, temperatures drastically dropping in East Long Meadow right now. It is 46, but feels a lot colder than that. Minichog with possession. Able to keep it. Whistle was blown. I think Chog, Chog will keep it. About a minute and a half gone. Chog with all the momentum so far in the start of this fourth quarter. Chog plays it now. Almost passes it back, which would have been a bad idea since Ron Karate was there. Pass forward. Hits Marissa Bomir's foot. A little bit of Kicking back and forth from her. She could tell she could feel that and won't be surprised if more stoppage times due to possible injuries happen due to temperatures dropping, the coldness, and all that for athletes. Chog with possession now. Chog has had possession so far for this entire fourth quarter besides when Isong Meadows started the quarter with the ball. 
101 whistle blown. Isong Meadow gains possession, and you can hear the fans happy about that call. Instantly plays it, able to be turned over. Shog with possession now slowly moving back into the zone. They pick up the pace, and now we're at the 10-yard line. 10 shift into the middle. Able to keep it was Chog. Isong Meadow gets it back. Chog able to get it back. Whistle blows. Yislong Meadow will gain possession, and they quickly play it again. Number four, Taylor Weiss. Weiss playing it, gets it through the legs of one Chog defender, but the second one able to grab it. Chog moving it back up. And you could hear Coach Reed say that he's going all offense on this one. They are, they are going to ride or die in these dire moments of the fourth quarter and the game as a whole. Caitlin Dowd able to gain it. She's looking for options. So she finds Anna Maccarini. Anna Maccarini able to stop the Chug defender from, turn, from intercepting it. Unable to stop the second one. And now Chug with multiple opportunities to score. Fog starting to pick up. A cold Wednesday afternoon. It's only a couple days away from Halloween. We have already got the, the fog machine rolling in for these props. And one reason that the game Friday that will be recorded could be delayed is due to snow possibly rolling in on Friday. Snow the day before Halloween, really going to make Halloween interesting this year due to not only COVID, but also some snow. Last time I remember there was snow on Halloween was back during the October snowstorm, and they had to cancel Halloween because of it. Some, some neighborhoods are not allowing Halloween due to COVID. Others are saying, or others are finding solutions around it. But right now, more importantly, is Isong Meadow on the attack. Little pass backwards. Able to chip it forward. Shot forward, kick save. Chug able to gain possession now. Oh, oh, still able to gain possession. She almost ran over it, but able to keep possession. Chug now slowly moving forward. Finds a pass forward. Locked, but able to keep possession is Chog. Chog slowly moving in, trying to find open spaces to pa pass the ball, whether their player is there or not, which they've been doing, and they've just been outspeeding East Long Meadow this entire game. Rolls out of bounds. It will be Chog's possession. Chog with it. So I'm going to be able to get through. Weiss got it and then stopped as it rolled away. There was, oh, due to, due to a whistle being blown. Chug with position on the 25 yard line of Isong Meadow territory. Excuse the pauses. Chug keeps possession. A little bit of a tip by Olivia Robb. Chug keeps possession. A little bit of a fake out. Passes it down. Across back into the middle. Whistle blown. Chug will keep possession. And not only with the fog picking up, there's also wind gusts starting to pick up. Temperatures dropping faster than I thought. And you can see multiple fans are starting to get cold out here, even though everyone drifts comfortably. Or, sorry, comfortably warm. Isong Meadow will gain possession now. Isong Meadow looking with eight minutes and about 15 seconds left to try and score three goals to tie the game at 4-4. But right now it's 4-1. Chog. Chog. All Chog's goals coming in the second. Four different scorers. And the one goal for Isong Meadow was by number two, Anna Maccarini, assisted by number 15, Caitlin Dowd. Isong Meadow keeps possession. Sterling. Passes it forward for Anna Macarini. Passes it forward again for for Rob. Weiss with it. Tries to pass it forward. 
to Rob, but unable to. Chog with possession. Weiss trying to stop it. Trying to get to it is Anna Macarini. Anna Macarini unable to get to it before the Chug player and Chog now with possession moving into East Long Meadow territory. Lily Sterling trying to get there before other players do. She's unable to. Three on one with little space remaining. Chip off. Unable to have someone behind her for the nice shot in. East Long Meadow chips it forward and is, un is able to now get some possible offense rolling. Number 22, Olivia Robb with it. Trying to outspeed her her defender. She's able to chip it forward. She's got running room right now. Olivia Robb looking for other people to follow behind her. Right behind her is Taylor Weiss. She's across. Whistle blows. East Long Meadow possession. 6.53 remaining in the fourth. Multiple substitutions come in for Chog. Whistle blows. Chog has possession. Right now, LaRock has the possession. She passes it forward for Dowd. Dowd unable to get it through a Chog defenseman. That was Piquet with it. Piquet able to keep it. She passes it forward for Ron Karate. Ron Karate passes it into the middle. Shot. Save. Desperation save by Chog after Caitlin Dowd took the shot attempt. Leg save and then a diving poke check by the Chog goaltender to keep it out of net. Chog with now possession in the East Long Meadow territory. Within the 10 yard line, Sterling is trying to regain possession. Unable to. Chog defender trips over herself. Unable to get to it. Out of bounds. East Long Meadow possession. From what I believe, I could would be wrong, and it looks like I am. So Chog will keep possession with just over five minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the fourth. Chog with possession. Chog slowly moving it back up. Isong Mano now gains possession, quickly tries to pass it forward. Number seven, Athena Roncarati is there, and she's gonna start going, moving into Chog territory with no one with her. Chog gets possession back. Chog trying to just drain the clock out or even score another to really rub it in. They have an opportunity. Shot saved by Elaine Nathan. Rebound. Unable to get to it. Whistle blows. That'll be out of bounds. Chog will keep possession. Nice Pad save by double zero, Lane Nathan. Able to keep the score at 4-1. But it might be a little too late. As just over four minutes remain. Chip shot on net, and it goes in. Num. For, I believe, number 13. Sorry, we were looking to see who it was that scored. A little confusion. I believe it was number 13, Maeve McConnell, but I could be wrong. We will clarify in one second. Pass forward by East Long Meadow, number four. Taylor Weiss trying to get it. Chug. Throws it back over with Lily Sterling. Goal number 13, Maeve McConnell. I was right, Maeve McConnell with the goal. Pass too far forward. And they'll let it go out of bounds. 5-1 the score. Chog with a demanding lead with only three minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the fourth. Chog moving it back into possession.
able to get it through. All but one defender, diving save by Isabella Larocque. Chog holds on to possession in Gisong Meadow territory. Trying to find another goal. Chipped forward for number 15, Caitlin Dowd. She's got running room two on two. She's going to pass it across. Now two on one. Right now, Taylor Weiss with the possession. To her right, she has number 15, Caitlin Dowd. Two on two now. Caitlin Dowd gets it. Unable to hold on to it. Whistle blows. Whistle blows. They're going to have East Long Meadow defenders move up to try and score another one. 220 remaining in the fourth. 5 1 Chug with this demanding lead in the dire moments of the fourth quarter. Caitlin Dowd. Over to Rob. And it's cleared by Chog. Right now they're going to look, look to clear the ball and drain the rest of this clock. With the win too close in sight. <laughs> Olivia Robb comes running off, holding onto her thigh. Substitution quickly came in. Chog with possession with 130 remaining in the fourth. They're coming with speed. Pushes forward with the nice pass. Too far forward though. He's not able to gain it. Alyssa, sorry, Marissa Boomier. I'm able to quickly get that one timer going to clear it back through. And Chog with possession. Chog about the two yard line goes out of bounds. It looks like that will be a song out of possession. Less than one minute remaining now. Chog able to intercept the pass at about the 49 yard line. Whistle about it would be called if Isamo touched it. They're, they touched it after the call would have been called. Pass forward for Anna Macarini, number two. She's got running room, she's moving. Looking to get a pass, she does. She has an opportunity to score, kick save. Almost makes it through the pads, which Anna Macarini was looking for, unable to. And Chog will now move it into East Long Meadow territory. 22 and counting left in the fourth. Goes out of bounds. East Long Meadow will gain possession with 15 left. Nice hit, but Chog will gain possession again. Slowly moving up with five left. Three, two, and one. That'll do it. Minichog with a demanding win over East Long Meadow. 5 1 the final score. All five goal scores for Chog were different. And the one goal by East Long Meadow was by number two, Anna Macarini. Once again, next game for El Cat 2B recording at home will be on Friday without any snow or rain delays. Question will be in the air if the snow will come through on Friday. But you're, if you have any kids that go to East Long Meadow High, they should be able to tell you if that game will happen or not the day of or even the day before. So long from East Long Meadow. I'm Gabe Jadelmacy. Thank you for watching and have a good night.